One, two, three, radio check. How do you read me? Hello, everybody. How do you read me? Let me know, please. Okay, I think sounds is good now. So if somebody can read me. Luis Vicent Martinez. Hi, brother. Hi. Welcome to this tutorial. So it will be interesting. Uh, so, okay. Uh, today I have not too much time. Uh, I think our broadcast will be very fast. So if you have any question, you can send me directly. In present moment and and what we are doing today as you can see redshift materials cinema 4d today we will talk about redshift materials so I start my video and now you can see my screen okay uh, as you know my subscribers uh, just few days ago I download this video with some materials as you know I prepare this pack with Five zero with 50 different materials uh, inside you have some different items so it's wood stone some and more of you like this materials so today I will show you how to use it if you're doing some interior okay uh, I'm not make any modeling as you can see I already have some kitchen as you can see it looks like very nice looks like good and where i take it so if you are going to google uh, you'll put like this uh, free 3d.com then you're going to models then you go interior kitchen sand and you have like this model so as you can see it's set up it for v-ray for cinema 4d uh, Thank you very much, Lord Walder. Thank you very much. This video also will be very useful for sure, for sure, because I prepare it and I know everybody will like it. Okay, uh, interior kitchen scene. As you can see here, you can find this file. You can download it for free, nothing to pay. Also, if you are going to some scene, you can find some other free 3D models, 3D interior. So just download, put inside in your Cinema 4D. Take out all V-Ray materials, all V-Ray settings, and I just little bit change something, just put some names. Oh, you see, I still have some materials, so I just delete it. You just put everything inside, and finally, finally, you will have like this. You will have like this. So, what we are doing and how we will use it. We no need any, any V-Ray materials, so just a moment. We are going to our Redshift render settings, choose Redshift, then going to Redshift and passes. I'll use only 32 for a moment for beginning to fast render. Then I am going to GI and no any GI. Uh, for final render, of course, we will use because we have interior scene. Then I will go into system, bucket render. Also, I will make a middle uh, because for IPR it will be more faster. So, and finally, I'll go to integration and for a moment I have some default light for a moment I have it okay next I'll show you which redshift which version I'm using today so maybe we will have some different some problem with not same nodes or like this so I have redshift 2.6.06 I know it's just I think yesterday or before yesterday coming new 07 but I still have time for download it and for test Okay, so we will use this uh, scene and we we'll try to make it more or less photorealistic with some of my materials. Okay, if you are have time and have possibility to download my uh, materials, to download these materials, you, you know how to install it. So after installation, you will find it inside in content browser, press sets, and you will find this folder, Redshift, cinema 4d sv folder so we are open it 
and inside you can found emission fabric floor and some 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 different items so i just little bit increase you can see uh so i prepare these materials it's as for me it's very useful materials because i use it uh, of course these materials you can some adjust for your sen roly fx здрасте Здравствуй, добро пожаловать. So, uh, today we will try, we will try to use these materials to make our interior. Okay. So, uh, what we have inside? First, I think I will do some lighting. Yes, or maybe some materials. No, I think we will start from some materials. I think it will be, it will be more interesting. So, what I have? I have some instance table top what is this and and okay this is instance we are not use it what is this this is this is chairs so also instance fridge okay i have some fridge this yes now we will go and we will check as you can see no any material this is nothing we will check what we have okay uh so i like first of all роли uh, фикс что ты имеешь в виду проект с машиной uh, саму машину тогда тебе нужно зайти на видео и под описанием сейчас я тебе покажу заходишь на само видео заходишь в описание и вот он проект с машиной вот здесь он загружаешь эту машину дальше все делаешь по уроку самого урока сохраненного файла у меня нет окей okay, we are going back we are going back Sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah, we are here. So we are going back to my content browser and what I have. As you can see here, I have some very interesting folder other. What is inside? Inside some materials which I use uh, very often. Yes, Chrome, mirror, some plastic. Of course, is in present moment uh, it is blue, yes, but you can change for any color, water, and wax. So this is like a subscattering surface, just a basic material. So you can use it for some wax or just little bit update for any other material. So all these handles, I like to use a Chrome. I just double click and as you can see, Chrome coming here. Yeah, okay, I am going to one two where is not okay just drag like this like this like this and i think here yes also also like this okay look i have it what is this and this is some label so also we can put here remaining some box we are going back to my materials and going to metal because my fridge should be with metal. So as you can see, I have some different types of metal, different types. And it's up to you what you will use. This is like a rusted. This is like a, with some scratches. I don't know. Maybe I will use this material. Just double click, apply it to my fridge like this. And now we are going to IPR. Just render and check what I have. As you can see, I have it like this. So uh, the idea, uh, of course, it's not like my mm, cube. The idea, just a moment, just a moment. Uh, you don't know how to do it. One second. Some of my friend asked me to check my to check my tutorials. Just a moment. Yeah, I should take take it and send to him okay uh, so uh, we are going we are going back and as you can see i have like these materials with some metal type okay we are going to material and all materials which have texture which have texture should be applied like a box you're going to projection file take it and make it cubic like cubic or box doesn't matter cubic what coming now you can see now will be some small different. 
yeah you see now texture coming more correct more interesting okay we are going here and now we will play a little bit with this material uh so as you can see i have this texture and it's co is going to diffuse weight reflection roughness also coming some metal scratches so maybe i don't like to see this very very big size or i like to change some color i am going here and as you can see my color still is free so i just change to white you see some different coming yeah also i maybe don't like to receive some diffuse weight just click and check what i have now i have like this so it's still metal still have some very interesting reflection roughness but i have white color and some small i don't know like a piece so i'll keep like this for a moment later we will see when we set up our light we will see how it looks like okay what we are doing next i am close for a moment what we are doing next uh next i will play with my uh, table how it's calling plate some fork knife everything so we are going to i think it's somewhere here top decor yeah maybe not not it's not here aha uh -huh, it's somewhere top so this is slump fridge fridge we are finished so i can just close it just close to give me some space for work yeah uh okay lamp where is my lamp somebody calling me it doesn't matter i will reply later i have some lamp for lamp i have to use some lights so i am going to again to my materials content browser we are going to emission and as you can see in emission i have like this so this you can use for crystal for some fire for some lava for everything but for my lamp i have to use just standard glass we are going to glass and what i can see here also some different glass any some colors but i like use this so double click and i receive some glass uh, you can use just solid glass or doesn't matter it's not so important so i have some different different i just take like this and apply glass here and as i told you before this should be like a like a cubic projection okay very nice i am going a little bit closer take my ipr and change check what i have i have some small reflection yes what i am doing now just going to top view like this and apply some redshift yeah okay light we will do later so now i don't need this glass lighting or lighting we will do later what next uh top decor what is this top decor and where is it top decor yeah this two rings one and two uh i think we can use stucco for this we are going back to my materials uh pack we are going to stucco and here you can find some different types of course if you don't like this color you can change it inside in the materials so maybe for my top i will use i'll use this it's green but i'll change so double click go inside in these materials and check what i have it's already set up it but as you can see here no any diffuse color so i am going here and diffuse green color change to white like this as you can see it's coming white but still remaining some texture for bump for everything yeah so we will try and we will check what we have apply it's here and maybe i also apply to 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 roof yeah for this because it should be same i think make like this okay render and check what i have i have it like this as you can see it's not so interesting size because like i told you before you have to make it for cubic projection it's very important yes make like this go in here and make like this if you don't like this size if if you can see yeah uh, i'm going a little bit closer you can see what i have i have very very strong bump and very big size so i am going to these materials and to these materials and just change my tiles so maybe i'll make a five and five just little bit increase you see coming like this and it's coming more interesting so but anyway my bump is very strong i'm going to material going here going to 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 to, to, to bump input and here i have one yeah so i'll change for 0 
you see my bump coming very very small bump coming for very small and now it looks like very nice so later we will see how it working with reflection when we set up uh, my light what i don't like as you can see this uh, yeah of course this is free yes like i told you this is free so a uh, quality quality of modeling it's not so good anyway it's beautiful but it's not so good what i don't like i don't like to receive this very very straight corner how to fix this problem we are going back to my material open that and as you know redshift have very very interesting and very powerful tool inside i think it's inside in utilities yes round corner like this yeah and this should be apply for bump so i'm just take it and apply for a bump you will see you see rounds uh, corner coming for round yeah i'm going here and i will make maybe one maybe like this just make it more okay maybe zero five like was before yeah so now it's now it's more interesting more beautiful so but what i'll do with my other bump for this reason i have to use a bump blender so this will be my base and this will be my layer number one input and after that i apply here as you can see now i have my bump for my texture but i haven't uh, round corner so i am going to bump blender and here i use a additive mode make like this and blend weight make to one as you can see now playing both of them playing my road uh, round corner and playing my bump as you can see it looks like very nice so i am keep it i am keep it for a moment what we are doing next so this i close it and this closet what we are doing next uh like i told you yes guys if you have any question ask me ask me because uh today i'm not lose too much time maybe maybe one hour maybe a little bit more we will see up to finish okay table top uh, Igor Sal so лосин да помню я тебя и я твою фамилию уже неправильно называл помню я тебя добро пожаловать so we are going here going a little bit closer okay open it and as you can see i have some many many different materials okay first of all i will use for my plate some materials for my plate so in this in this my pack i haven't i haven't any how is calling ceramic any ceramic materials maybe in future i will make a redshift pack number two and it will be some ceramic some asphalt something else which i don't put in this so i just i just check if everybody likes this pack maybe in future i will do one more pack but what i can use i can use a for example for example granite for for this plate i can use granite why not uh, maybe I will apply this yeah look at this looks like very nice so just take this material and apply for my plate take, take base ну такая программа установил такую программу поэтому чат на мониторе видно у меня всего один монитор поэтому чтобы читать ваши сообщения я использую эту программу одновременно и вижу свою программу и вижу чат что вы мне пишете вот такая вот хитрая программа окей okay. uh, so this base applied here very nice dish yeah very good apply it here so i have something knife knife dinner knife 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 very good so take it uh ship chat ship chat название этой программы ship chat going to cubic and increase size maybe like this so but i don't like to receive like this result so uh, as you can see it's with some i don't know i'm going to render and i will check if it's good or not just take it you see yeah ah, and this is subsurface scattering it's like this and i don't like it so i am going here 
and what I'm doing what I'm doing I maybe just make weights no no what we are doing or for a moment we keep like this yes or we just create other material so if I haven't uh, I'm going to material I just create one more very fast in present moment I haven't any keramic so I just use it for like for keramic maybe like this nothing special maybe like this so this material I am delete for a moment I delete I not use it so just take it put here and put here very good so as you can see all other plate this is instance so we can see it's everywhere uh, going closer and now we will play with my knife handle 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 knife where is this yeah I close it for a moment handles uh, which color we will use for handles I think I will use just standard maybe plastic yes we can use plastic why not it's it's not so very important yes the idea is show you how to make a photorealistic um, we will use uh, from other we I just take a plastic like this going to plastic and change maybe color for I don't know just little bit little bit yellow just very little bit maybe like this so this plastic this plastic I will use for all my handles take handle where is this yeah you can see here apply this plastic to handle knife knife for knife I will use chrome as you remember I already take chrome handle handle just select it and apply like this as you can see handle is applied yes junior knife chrome here what is this yeah this is handle so plastic for knife chrome for spoon full chrome and for fork chrome so just going to render and check what I have okay you see it's already coming coming very interesting but uh, for my plastic I have some very strange texture so I am selected select this this and this going to cubic and maybe make tiles for five like this to receive a very nice very nice structure so going closer and check yeah looks like very nice but bump bump is very deep so I am going to my plastic uh, open my bump and change maybe not uh, zero one zero zero one just little bit you see I have some very interesting structure so of course if you have very very nice models uh, you will receive more better result but for a moment I'll keep like this for okay tabletop I can close it what next what next I have some so what is this and yeah in this area so we are going closer and we will see what we can do here just open and check fork okay for this will be chrome 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 very simple this why is inside in the table just little bit pick up because this is not good yeah like this okay I don't know apply same plastic this will be chrome chrome plastic Vixel play hello my brother welcome to my tutorial maybe you plan to know now cinema 4d and you like to see me like your teacher welcome okay like this so I, I think a little bit have to pick up it yeah like this and this object put down and this object put down so going to render and check what I have render yeah looks like very nice okay yeah and like before I told you here we have some texture so I'm selected and make it like a cubic and tiles I don't know I'm going a little bit closer and now we will see 
Now we will see. Yeah, tile, maybe I will use F5. Welcome, welcome. Okay, like this. Very nice. Strong. Добро пожаловать с группы ВК. Добро пожаловать. Надеюсь, что-нибудь полезное сегодня узнаешь. Постараюсь. Окей, okay. электроник. Электроник. Электролюкс. What we are doing here and what we have. We have some tube, 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 tube. Here also tube. So all these tubes I selected and apply chrome. So. Switch mark. <laughs> Добро пожаловать. Сегодня я тебя учу, Веч... завтра ты меня учишь, да? Switchmark, uh, very professional guy, this Switchmark, you can check his uh, channel, he's very professional guy with uh, Unreal Engine 4. So you can go to check his channel and he's some, uh, he doing some uh, stuff for Unreal Engine, in, for Marketplace, you can check it. It's, it's really very professional guy, believe me. Okay, like this, and like this plate also will be chrome. And this is, I like to use a, like, like a glass, yes? So I am going to my uh, content browser, like before, presets, uh, Redshift Cinema 4D materials, and I going to glass and just select this black glass. So apply it, apply this black glass here and here, like this. Okay, Switch Mark, he haven't any channel for YouTube, he have somewhere in the Twitch, so you can go to Twitch and check it, if you like, of course, if you like, guys, it's up to you. If somebody like to know a little bit more about, uh, about Unreal Engine, you can check it. So, as you can see, I have like this glass, some Chrome, and what we are, what we are doing with this glass, like I told you before, first of all, it should be cubic. This is very important, cubic. After that, I little bit maybe increase the tiles, just little bit. And going here, what I have? First of all, I no need any bump. For, for, for this reason, I no need any bump. I'm just going to bump. Okay, I have bump here and I have bump here. So I just disconnect bump. I no need any bump. And just keep like this. So looks like looks like not so bad. I have some noise. Noise for curvature. Very nice. So very interesting material and looks like very interesting result. We can keep it. For a moment we can keep it. Okay, I close it. What next? Next, this. This is and this. We are checking. Okay. What I apply? I apply also, I have some material. Name of this material, metal. Metal, metal, metal. And metal, now I will check this. So, <coughs> sorry, apply it. Not yet. Yeah, like this. Make like this. <coughs> okay, look at this. Looks like very nice, yeah? Of course, we forget, we forget to make it cubic. This is very important. Or maybe for, 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 for this, we can use like this. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, now it will be better. Maybe I, I will keep like this. Only I just change little bit size. Three and three. Yeah, here is good. Here it's also good. Look, I don't know. I like this material very much and it's letter or oh, maybe not maybe just go back yeah like this you see th there is some finger touch and and this looks like very nice yeah looks like very nice so we can close it what next mixture mixture coming here coming 
Строн, а, это не совсем болезнь, скорее всего, это аллергия. Сейчас всякий тополиный пух, пыльца и так далее. Скорее всего, у меня аллергия. Спасибо за беспокойство. Окей, а, микшер, open. Uh, how did you add redshift shortcuts? Uh, how did I add? Uh, okay, just a moment. I might get pause. So, for example, for example, for example, what I can add more? Okay, for example, I like to add this redshift sun and sky rig because today we will use it. Yes, redshift sun and sky rig. I like to add in this area. So, how to do it? How to do it? First of all, I am save it. Then I'm going to Windows. I'm going to customization like this. Customization, I think, menu. No, one moment. Customization commands. Okay, here we're going red shift. Sorry, it's Russian language. Shift. Red shift sky and sun. Just take it and drag and drop in this area. So I have it here. That's all. So very simple. Now, if I push this button automatically, automatically look at this, I push to this button and I have Redshift Sky and Sun Rig already here. So hope, hope it will help you. Uh, but after that, when you edit, don't forget, go to, go to Windows again, go to customization and make it safe as startup layout this is very important because after when you close and open again this button will have you automatically for example if i close and open i have this button because really officially i don't need it okay so we are going to make sure make sure what i have inside make sure some plastic some also plastic other color and some glass standard glass so I think for this reason I can create some some glass without any some additional settings. So I'm just going here, make like this, and and nothing special. So just just glass. Take it and apply here. So not necessary to make so very very interesting. And for this I just add some white plastic. I think it's here. Yes, plastic. So I apply here and I apply here. So check it what i have where is my redshift ipr yeah looks like very nice looks like very nice so we'll keep it but don't forget to apply it like a not sphere like a cubic and you will have more beautiful result you will have more interesting and more beautiful result maybe i also uh, change oh like this yeah look at this i don't know i like it and don't forget yes in present moment we haven't any light any light setup mm. Okay, very nice. What next? What we are doing next? Next we are closed and going for my glass. Where is this glass? And here. Okay, I think it's very simple. I just take this material and apply it to my glass. So, okay, now I have this glass. Yeah, if you like, you can add for this material some, how it's calling, just a moment, I forget. I will show you with tags. Object, you can add some, 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 some caustic, caustic photons, and it will be very realistic. Yes, it's up to you. <laughs> Виктор Селешко, спасибо. Нет, не желаю. Спасибо большое. Okay, dogs. We are going to coffee machine. What we have inside coffee machine? Here, coffee machine. Just take my coffee machine. What I have here? Open. I have some main. I think it will be metal. As you remember, this my, where is my metal? Why not this metal? Yes, so for this I apply some metal. Metal will be like a cubic of course and going for ipr for check okay looks like very nice but very very big finger so i don't like it i'm going here and make it five and five like this yeah now it's more interesting 
So this is, will be plastic, but I like to make a black plastic. So I just take my plastic, copy of them, open, and this main color, as you remember, we put it little bit yellow, I change for, for black. We will see what will be, yeah, like this, black plastic. So I take it plastic, this plastic, and apply, apply here, yes. Take this plastic and apply like this. Okay, very nice. What next? This, this will be glass. We already have some glass, make like this, yes. And this, I don't know. I think it will be like a chrome. So make like this and apply, so it will be chrome. Looks like very nice. Later we will see, when we'll do final render, we will see what we have. Okay, for plastic, for plastic I also have to make a cubic. And have to change a little bit. A little bit like this. Don't forget all my, all my materials, same less, yes? So you can, you can use it without any problem. For any your object. Okay, what is this? What is this and where I can found it? Okay, this is chair. Oh, for chair. I think it's plastic, yeah, so I'm again take this plastic, copy of them and make it, it's up to me, of course, up to me, I make it green like this, why not? Just take it and apply here. So all my table, all my chair coming with this color plate yeah, you see, very nice. Make it like a cubic, and we will see what we have finally. Render and check how it looks like, how we have reflection, refraction. Strong. Uh, I have Blue Yeti microphone, Blue Yeti. Сам долго выбирал, очень хороший микрофон, советую. Okay, like this, looks like very nice. And I think I can go here and little bit add some bump. So bump will be maybe 0 0.5, maybe like this. Check it. Yeah, now it's now it's more interesting, yes. As you can see, how it's very easy to set up, uh, to set up all this material. So what we are doing now, this, this all my table. Table, 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 I will make with some, some wood. So going to content browser like before, Open this, going to my materials, going to wood, and, and, and what we can use, what we can use. I think we can use, I think we can use this. Very interesting wood, you see, with also finger touch, we can use it. We can use it. So, take it and apply to my table. Mm -hmm. It's applied, but still I cannot see. I don't know why coming this update so long time. So I can I can check it my IPR. Okay, dogs, you see is it's more more or less correct, and maybe see how it looks like very nice. So like I told you yes again, uh, or we, we can we can make like a cubic, and check how it will be. It will be like this, and I think I think I'll keep like this. So chair maybe maybe I just change a little bit color for not like this green, maybe like white green. Light green. Like this. So it will be more interesting. Okay, later we will see about reflection for this table. Now I just prepare everything for final render. Yes, I just I just make preparation. So what next? Owen. Owen is somewhere here. Yeah. So now I am open oven and what I have? Oh yeah, there is very easy. So line, line is some, um, okay, we are create redshift material, but I use incidence material. Just open that and going for change some color will be, I don't know, will be red, dark red color. Very simple and apply it here. Okay, very nice. So just little bit back. Open my IPR and check. Okay, I already have something. Looks like nice Chrome. If it's Chrome, как запечь редшифтовский материал? Хампам, хай. 
uh, what you mean? What you mean? Антон Князев. Что ты имеешь в виду запечь? Для чего запечь его? Куда его запечь? Chrome. Everything Chrome. Glass. We can use glass. Okay, this is, this is, I, I, I make it dark glass, so I apply this glass. So it like this will be more interesting, yeah? Metal, metal, just standard metal. So I take this metal, looks like very nice, but for cubic, yeah. What next? Black, everything with black color, I'll use standard black plastic like before. Take it and change for cubic. Okay. Oh, so no, no, not here, not here, of course, yes, not here. Here. Increase and check. Okay. Looks like very nice. Later we will check. Maybe, maybe now I'll just increase little bit, little bit tiles. Okay, now it's more interesting. So what we are doing next? Close it. Going cover. What is this cover and where is this? Yeah, here. Okay, what what I have inside? I have some plastic. I use some white plastic, no problem. And I have some cylinder. So for this cylinder I can use again from my redshift bug. I'm going to fabric and I think I can use this fabric. So as you can see, it looks like very nice. Just take it and apply it for this, for here. You see, it will be like this. So I am going here, make it like a cubic. Like I told you before, looks like very nice. Just render and check what I have. I have it like this. I have it like this. But what I can add, for example, I just show you some small example, yes. I just take a, a light, like a spotlight. Take spotlight, change rotation for 90 degrees, little bit pick up, like this, very nice. Closer, okay. So I have some spotlight. If I'm going here and for example, just moment, aha, very, very, not, not. okay, going here and just render now, what I can see, I cannot see nothing, yes, because light not coming here, so I'm going to this material, open that, and what I can see, I have some settings, yes, diffuse color, diffuse we weight, and some bump, but I also like to use a backlighting translucency, so I'm just increase it, and what I can see now inside in the render, check it. Come on, should be. Should be, should be. Why why coming this problem? Just just a moment. I like to check something. Why I cannot see my light? So if I'm going a little bit closer. I think the problem officially I have in this windows because as as I can see here I have some question, uh, maybe some, this is some V-Ray settings, maybe officially I have in this window, so I'll check it. Just give me some few seconds. Yeah, okay, here I can see some light, some light coming, but where is this coming? I not understood. Aha, yes, now I think it's more clear. Okay. So translucency not not take at it. If I use white color and maybe I can use maybe I also can try so for a moment, just a moment guys. Mm, default light, yes I have. But anyway, I cannot see nothing. So maybe I will add some sun and sky rig just to check. You see, here I have and top I have nothing. 
So, where is the problem and why problem like this? Maybe, maybe, maybe what I can do. Maybe I can check, maybe I can take it, going to solo view and just check what is this. Cylinder. Is double side or not double side? I not understood. So if I take it and delete it, yeah, it's double side. So, so it's double side. What I can do? What I can do? I can add, I can add some plane. So take plane, go in here, change direction. Things over here. Yes, yes, change direction and put inside. So now I have this material, so this plane will be a little bit smaller, maybe like this, a little bit smaller, like this. Okay, almost same, just pick up a little bit. Going closer. Yeah, very nice. So I have this plane. Now I just pick out this plane and inside here, Inside here, I select it like this, or well, maybe maybe like this. So check it. Yeah, you see. Yeah, you see what I have, and enable now my plane. So now it will be more interesting. Just just change a little bit. Just change a little bit size. And a little bit. Uh, Антон Князев, ты знаешь, я этим не пользовался, реально тебе помочь не могу, это надо разобраться, либо посмотреть какие-то уроки. Если кто-то есть сейчас на канале, кто может помочь, пожалуйста, помогите Антону разобраться, как запечь материал. Честно, я этим не пользовался ни разу. Окей. Okay. Uh, so, I have it, and for example now, if I'm going to render, I can see, I can see it. Азербайджан. Much respect. Azerbaijan, welcome, welcome. International stream. Uh, but as you can see, it's white color, yes? White, white color. I'm going here and I can see it's white color here. For example, if I'm change here for any green color, of course, will be some green color. But I like to see my texture. So I take this fabric, this take texture, go in here and apply like a backlighting translucency color. What I have? I have it like this for a moment. Going very nice, very nice. So if I have some light, I will found very good result. Finally. Okay, so now I don't need the spotlight and I think I can close my cover. Yeah, yeah, we are completed. What next? Camera we don't touch. Windows we don't touch. We haven't any Windows later. We will see. Maybe we'll put some uh, some standard uh, Cinema 4D windows. We will check. What next? Kitchen. So I have some kitchen. Oh my god, some million. Million different. Million different textures. So maybe before kitchen, I will change roof. Roof already changed it. Cube. So I have cube. I think this is some room. Open that. Yeah. Okay, uh, this, this looks like walls, yeah? Looks like, yes. This looks like floor and this looks like this top view, uh, front view. Okay, um, so I am going to my materials, where is this? And going to Stuka. Okay, for walls I will use, I'll use, I don't know, this or this or this, maybe this. This, I use this material. Select it and apply it for, 
for my walls. Reply it should be here, yes, like this. Okay, very nice. Very nice, it's applied. Like I told you before, now I'm going closer and I'll show you that you have used like a cubic. Yes, select, play, you see like this. Может быть и так, честное слово, я не знаю. Вот, вот вообще врать не буду, не знаю. Окей, okay, change maybe 5-5, like this. And going here for change. First of all, I like to change a color. So, uh, it will be very, very light green. As you can see, it's possible to use very, very light green. Maybe just like this. Just li No, it's, it's too dark. Very light, almost white color. Okay, like this. What next? Going to bump and reduce bump for 0.1 just to receive a little bit, maybe 0.25. Yeah, like this. So very nice. Looks like very nice. Later we will see about my reflection. Yeah. What next? What we are doing next? Next we are going for my, uh, what is this? I think, I think this is floor. So also very simple going to my materials. It's very easy. You're going to floor and you can see some setups for floor. I don't know. We can use or this or some wood or we can try wood. I think it will be very beautiful. Maybe this wood, maybe this wood. I think I will use this. Looks like very nice. So just take this material and apply here. You see already, already something coming. So again, like I told you, take it. Oh, it's already cubic, very nice. But tiles, you see it's very big tiles. So I just change tiles for five and five for a scale it. And I don't know, play and check what I have. Okay, looks like very nice. Looks like very nice, some reflection, some bump. And later we will see maybe four and four, yeah? little bit bigger but anyway for final render we will see how we can adjust it maybe maybe 2.5 2.5 like this bigger no it's it's really big three three okay for a moment like this i'll keep like this and this what is this what is this and where i can found it this side so i think i can use also some stucco but i use some why not maybe we can apply this we try just 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 we try take it and apply here looks like very nice also i take it and make it like a cubic and make it maybe two two just a little bit increase and render check what i have yeah, why not? Looks like very interesting. Yes, I think I can keep it. I think I can keep it. Just like decor. Okay, so... Uh, what is this? Mm -hmm, this is Windows. So... What remaining? Remaining... Where is I can found it? What is this and why I can see it? Cube. This is just standard cube. So, uh, what we can do with this cube? We can add some hair, like maybe you remember my last tutorials, we add some hair, yes? Or we can add some my material. So, like before going here going to fabric and maybe i'll use this material yes we can try or here yes i think i will use this material no problem just like this ребят вам виднее я не знаю процесс запекания looks like very nice render and check yeah you see very nice Okay, if you don't like this color, what you have to do? For example, I don't like this color, I like to make it more bright. You go in here, as you can see, texture have like this color. So, before material and after texture, apply 
color correct like this make it here and make it here now inside color correct you can play uh, with first of all with saturation so make it more gray or you can play with hue shift you see i'm playing and i start receiving some different results everything what you like so maybe i'll going for a little bit green and just take out saturation and maybe add some contrast little bit and little bit gamma so maybe like this i'll keep like this you see it's very simple to change some texture inside okay cube finish what is remaining 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 kitchen tabletop aha uh -huh it is height because this is instances so kitchen we are going to kitchen open that and what i have glass aha uh -huh, it's already automatically coming so um take glass going to glass and maybe i'll use this glass just check how it will be take this glass and apply for a glass after that going to glass make it like a cubic going to render and check you see what i have looks like very nice now I take this glass and change maybe for 5 and 5. You see, I have very interesting result. Uh, what next? Lamp. Somewhere I have lamp. Where is I have lamp? Aha, uh -huh, I think here I have lamp. So what I can use? I can add this glass for this lamp. Again, it will be like a cubic. Later, maybe we will add some spotlight to this area what next uh next i have some metal where is i have this metal okay here and here so i take my metal as you remember it was it was here yes metal and apply it okay it's already coming so i am fly a little bit closer no it's too much like this take this metal going to cubic you see very nice and i think i think i just little bit at maybe five okay maybe maybe three yeah like this i like more top what is this top okay top is everything here so i am going again back to my materials and i'll use a marble 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 which marble i will use maybe this i like it so double click and apply this marble to my top view again i told you yes if you like you can change for any uh, any color just like a shift so going marble going to cubic very nice i already can see it looks like good so open that and i don't like to receive this like a red color i'm just going here and going to 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 to, to color correct take color correct apply this to color correct and after color correct apply to a diffuse color like this and inside color correct for example first of all gamma just down yes you see i make it a little bit dark maybe i'll use 0 0.5 five, 5 doesn't matter a um, little bit take out saturation and now we will see what we can do with shift or or we can make like this almost black look at this i think it looks like very nice so maybe 0 0.1 <coughs> looks like very nice yeah black one and as you remember yes what i have look at this i have very very ah no it's already some corner some corner coming so keeping like this maybe just little bit change uh this marble maybe just change i don't know two and two yeah like this so looks like very nice okay what next back wood i think it is wood which is inside somewhere inside uh for inside i can use this wood yes just play like here cubic very nice and maybe three and three 
later we will see and for front view wood uh, i am going back to my materials now we will check if i can find something front wood i can add this or black or this no this i think this i'll add make like this just apply as you can see it's coming something strange so i take it and make it like a cubic very nice and five and five yes yes five and five <laughs> looks like very nice so take it and play okay look at this it's very fast and not so very hard finally for plastic black plastic i will add some black plastic and for chrome i will add some yeah, black plastic don't forget to make a cubic and for chrome i'll use my chrome this like this so it's already here uh looks like looks like everything done so i am open everything back and now we will see i think everywhere we add some textures so it's less than one hour yes or one hour coming and already with my pack we receive it very very interesting result so now we will check it if it will be photorealistic or not now looks like not so bad yes but anyway we will see how it's working with lights okay uh if you saw my previous tutorial with uh, with interior lighting we add some standard uh, redshift sky and sun going to sun uh, take this light and put sun directly to this area so i'm going here maybe this yeah like this render and start to check what i have okay dogs you see some sun already coming inside and it looks like not so bad you see here i have some translucency and it is nice uh, what next how to add more light inside how to add more light this camera i will use camera number two so this camera i can delete i no need it this camera i can delete i no need it i use only this camera and i apply for this camera <laughs> protection tag and apply for this camera redshift camera tag for camera tag i'll use explosion little bit vignette and and for a moment like this no any bucket uh, okay we are going to lights and i'll use a portal light like usually yes like usually for any interior so take it going here and now we have to identificate where is i have windows somewhere here windows yeah make like this make like this and close close here very nice so what next one more portal light i just copy this light no why copy not copy yeah copy of course copy copy this light and put it in this area so just take it behind the window okay very nice and just uh just 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 to check like this and a little bit smaller okay yeah very nice and i think i have to add one more light in this area so just to receive illumination from this area yes i just take this light put here going yeah i think I, I will do it in this area okay it's very close already just make like this a little bit more down and increase size okay we will see maybe this will be enough so going back to camera view uh, render again and check what is the different as you can see no any different coming yeah I a little bit close more like this and like this nothing changed so I am going to my portal light for all my portal light and I have some intensity multiplayer so I just increase for 10 
You see now coming some different. Increase for 25. Again coming some different. How to add light in this black area? So I am going to render G and use a brute force. Okay, very nice. So now something coming. Uh, I don't. I like to reduce this horizont level. So going to horizont high and just make minus one maybe like this. Okay, very good. So look at this. Look at this. It's already some picture. Maybe I just going to bucket render. Very nice, but anyway, too much noise coming. And now we start to reduce this noise. So I will start ventilation for my computer. Maybe will be some noisy. Uh, I don't like to overheat my computer. So just going for some few settings. First of all, uh, for GI brute force, I'll increase here for maybe, maybe like this. Yeah, now it will be more clean, but more longer. Okay, for a moment like this just to increase time to increase time for receive more or less fast render yes 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 and one more time yes okay okay i like to receive from this last light as you remember this is was backside more light in this area so i am going here and make it like this 50. so from my backside i will receive more lights yes it should be like this i hope But why I didn't receive more light? Now I will check it. Maybe I have to change direction, but I am not sure if it's help. Now we will check again. Take this light, increase maybe 100. Render and check the different. Okay, it's too much, so 50. Reduce a little bit, still too much. Uh, maybe 25 like before. All my lights is 25. So now now it looks like very nice and i can see almost everything yes okay uh so now i take my camera back and maybe i will make one more camera we will see so create one more redshift camera standard redshift camera so now i use this camera for look here, as you can see, take camera and we will see what we can change. So somewhere here will be camera and maybe a little bit top, maybe like this. So very good. Again, for this camera, I will use, I delete it and I will use the same tag. So just take this tag and copy 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 to this camera so will be same settings for this camera so for rendering i will receive a same result check it yes very nice I, and okay now we start to little bit update my materials little bit update my materials what i don't like and now we will see first of all i don't like to receive too much uh too much specular on my fridge so as you remember somewhere where is where is where is glass metal for this metal i am going here i am going to routeness you see yes routeness so i take it going to color correct apply it to color correct after this apply it to routeness and now by color correct in this area i think i can make like this yeah yeah i can make like this only fridge only fridge will be rendered now I am going to color correct and just start to reduce a uh, gamma, for example, like this. What will be the different? Okay, it will be more, so I have to increase gamma, yes? Now we will see. Okay, now it looks like more interesting. So maybe I will use 0 0.7. Oh, sorry, 1.7. You see, it's very simple. I still have roundness with some noise and more or less good result. Okay, what I also don't like, I don't like this area, so it looks like not natural. So I take one other texture, I'm going to Stuka, and maybe use, maybe use this one. Take it, uh, Alt on my keyboard and override, like this. So, 
maybe will be now more interesting now we will see i'm not sure but i think it will be it will be more interesting yeah i'll keep like this what i also don't like mm -hmm. i don't like this bl black area this materials you see it's too much noise coming so as you remember it was like a uh, inside kitchen it was like a back uh, back wood yes so i create one more material wood and maybe i will use this dark just take it and apply it here now we will see different yes now it's coming a little bit black and i will have more contrast like before cubic and i have size so looks like very nice now it's more interesting table i'll keep like this so what i can add maybe i can add some volumetric light yes like before so i am going to sun going to volume and make it 0 0.1 just little bit after that going to redshift and environment now we will see a little bit we will wait and should coming some volume yeah, of course, some time coming. Yes, you see some volume already inside. So maybe I will just little bit increase, maybe 0 0.1 just to receive. Yes, as you know, very soon Redshift will receive some update and it is already, I think, in Goudini, but very soon it will be everywhere. You can add some noise for volume. It, it will be really very cool and very interesting. Okay, you see this got ray got race coming and it will be very nice so for this environment i am going to ray contribution and my gi i increase to maximum so i also to receive some additional light from this area okay uh going back to sun and now we will optimize render so first of all uh going to volume and samples make a more one to eight just to reduce a noise maybe two five six after that going to my portal light and also increase samples one to eight like this to reduce noise okay and as i told in my preview for these materials these materials already have some settings to reduce some additional noise so if i'm open for example this material you can see sample 64 here also 64 some settings i already make updates for example if i open other one uh here i have yes here i have 32 and i think it will be good yeah okay so uh, it is done what i am doing now i just check which will be more interesting here or here or here what do you think maybe we'll add some window yeah i think we will add some window okay we are going to content browser again and as you remember we are going to press sets we are going to find and window yes here you should put to windows and you can find some window 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 we will use this window single yes just double click okay you see i have very big window so just change rotation for 90 degrees and put this window inside here very close to this area like this and now we will change the size of this window so going to this window I not remember how to do it just moment object user data yes wide okay so I'll put here and make it like this and high so just take window put it down and reduce high so just make it somewhere here high yes take it yeah looks like very nice it's very big window horizontal so vertical yes i'll add some vertical two very nice and what for this window what for this window what they have frame and window frame and window so i just delete this expressor i no need i just going to frame for all frame i will use a i'll use a this wood yes like this like this
something more no and for this area where is window i cannot see glass really i cannot see glass yeah here glass so i just take my glass where is this glass which i used it before ah uh, yeah i have to create new one material this will be standard glass no color full reflection a refraction sorry and it will be only one like this yeah this glass i will add here just take it and overwrite you see stop ventilation very good so uh metal will be with chrome will be with chrome with chrome handle chrome pinch chrome and this will be wood 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 what is this horizontal vertical i think also wood i am not sure what is this ah yeah here also wood of course and here also wood okay very nice what next uh some positions i think i will use it for like a chrome and like a chrome and something remaining yes something remaining and no ah here also it will be uh you see this is i i will use like a white plastic where is my white plastic this so like here will be <laughs> okay i think it is completed so now try to render again and check the different now it will be very interesting yes okay i have windows and now it looks like more interesting so we are going to final settings uh redshift output i have full hd very good and 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 i'm going here and maybe i'll increase one to eight and 64 now i will check if will be too much noise or not so uh, render in something strange it doesn't matter so render in progress okay i already can see some noise so maybe i will just increase little bit samples uh samples coming from this stuco so i am going to samples first of all bucket render like this very good save and render okay now you have time for ask me about something render in progress we will see how many minutes it will take and which result we will receive so maybe we will update some uh, materials some specular roadness like this so awaiting your question guys i have now 11 viewers awaiting your question okay i can see many noise and from where coming this noise it's very simple i think this noise coming from gi so i am going here going to gi and this i have to increase maybe like this maybe more so like this again render and now i think will be so and if i increase like this i can decrease i can decrease this try to make one to eight Oh, so no, 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 it's, it's too much. One to eight, just, just for test, just for test. Maybe it will be good. okay anyway some noise 
Now we'll try to understand from where coming this noise and why this noise coming. Later we will see. As you can see, looks like for this uh, for this fabric, you see yes, light coming, and I have I can see this. I can see it. It looks like very nice. What is here? Also looks like very interesting. Some god rays coming. We will see. We will wait up to final render. I think it will take maybe five minutes and then we will continue. So guys, awaiting your questions. just like to check my video adapters if it's not overheat 5069 still good so again if you like my uh, redshift pack redshift material pack check link below this video and you can buy it really it's very good pack you can check it you can buy it it's it's up to you but as I can see, it's, it's very useful and very, very simple to make very photorealistic picture because inside you can find very nice texture, inside you can find very easy settings, so you can, you can play with it and receive more or less good result. Now we will see. So I am going back. As you remember, this is with V-Ray, so I am going like this and maybe, yeah. This is with V-Ray, yes, V-Ray render. And now we are doing render with Redshift. Of course, I don't use uh, same color. I use little bit other color. You see, this is different colors, black, white, again, black. Looks like very interesting. Little bit other metal, or it's not looks like metal because I cannot see any specular, yeah? You see on, on the table, they use a glass and and the slide spotlight is very ugly and i don't know it's not not realistic also inside in the roof some light yes you can put some some light inside yes and now we will see what we have with redshift and it if it will be more realistic or not so uh, it is coming but still still in this area too much noise and i try to understood from where it i think it's coming from from some light but I not understood which light gives this noise now we will check but here it's very clean yes in this area very clean uh, volumetric light also very clean so not too much noise and looks like very nice glass have very clean not too much noise with with reflection but in this area too much noise but it's for sure is joy yes it's joy giving this noise we will see how we, we can fix it maybe if we have time today now i i like i like to check how many minutes already coming how how many minutes no something wrong it should be somewhere here Okay, almost one and a half hour. So I think I will do this one render. After that, I try to fix this noise and we'll make one more render and this tutorial will be completed. So after this tutorial, I will stop my broadcast. If you have any question, ask me because I think all my materials already set up it. I do not change nothing for materials. I just a uh, little bit increase as samples for uh, for final render for preview of this video uh, after completion of this render tutorial will be completed so you still have time for ask me about something if you like go ahead but I think it's already more or less photorealistic I don't know I this render with redshift more like than this render with this render with 
V-Ray. Of course, it's not, I think it's not professional render with V-Ray because if you're going to this area and if you're going to, to, to interior kitchen, one more time. Like this, yes, uh, like I told you, this is free, but if you're going not free, for example, if you're going to, okay, $25 or $29, we can open and we can check it. It is for 3ds Max uh, and for V-Ray render, yes, and you can see it looks like very photorealistic, looks like very nice, some background, you can see very good details and this looks like very nice so if you like you can download this from here it's 29 dollars incredible 17 25 dollars we can check this also look at this but again i think it's it's not so photorealistic this is my opinion it's very clean no it's not good so we can also check interior interior scene just like this so maybe we will find some other one very interesting result found only 10 yes and and that's all maybe like this yeah now it's more more but anyway i cannot i cannot find some interesting so you can go for the site free 3d and maybe you will find something for you something it's very cheap for example two dollars two dollars but it's very simple very simple to make modeling of this so if you haven't time for modeling just go here and buy it okay uh almost completed almost completed look at this i don't know looks like very nice i very like this material for fridge look because i have almost same in my home it's very nice i very like this table material it is wood but you see with some some noises and you know if if you add to your, any your composition some this noise you will receive more interesting result for sure more interesting result if it's metal you see this is like a metal like a like with some some different 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 uh roadness glass very good chrome uh you see yes they uh, floor look at the floor i don't know very photorealistic so again uh, if you like you can download these materials it will be very good for me because I'll take money for this yes it will be very good for me and will give me uh, some push for continuous my work continuous create some special packs maybe a redshift material pack number two with some other interesting texture we will see okay uh, so render completed what we can see we can see very interesting very interesting picture we can see some very interesting details so and i i think very nice wood you see very nice wood reflection glass look at this coffee machine have some very interesting also some texture yes okay so my tutorial completed thank you very much for watching i hope i show i'll show you some uh, some basic idea how to use uh, my redshift pack again if you are going on link below this video or if you are go link below this video somewhere here yes redshift pack you will find this or if you are going also to my previous video to this video you will check all these materials with more closer uh, you will understood how to use it because you can you can use it uh, almost everywhere and some people who already downloaded it show me that everybody will happy with this material so you can check so it's it's really was big job from my side but anyway my tutorial completed 
we receive it like this result like i told you yes for preview i just little bit make the noise of this picture but all my materials will be same i do not change nothing for materials and maybe i will change a camera direction because i like to see also this wall okay guys uh if no any question so thank you very much for watching this tutorial uh enjoy good evening and see you next time goodbye